Hi, everybody. I'm here today with Manila McLean, uh, Chief Information Officer at Newcastle Building Society and Newcastle Strategic Solutions. Um, Manila and Newcastle Strategic Solutions are one of our partners for the year at FinTech North. Um, so I just want to say a massive thank you to Manila and the team at NSS and Newcastle Building Society for supporting us in the work that we do across the Northern ecosystem. Um, Wanted to have a chat with Manila today, really, just to, to get to know the business a little bit better, understand understand the NSS's unique story as well, and, and also you know, you know try and find out ways of uh, of making connections within the within the community, um, and yeah, just generally getting to know the business a little bit better. So, Manila, um, on to my first question, I suppose, um, which is a which is a, a a large a large a large story to tell, I suppose. You know, how did a building society come to create a tech company? Oh, thanks, Joe. So, yeah, well, how did how did we start? Well, we've always had a, a strong technology team with a, a vast amount of experience in managing financial services products for, for customers. We were uh, essentially at the forefront of launching online savings within the building society industry years and years ago. Um, and we were amongst the first to actually launch the service ourselves to our own customers. And following that, we, we spotted an opportunity to, to leverage what essentially was one of our core competencies, uh, the, the technology and the, the deep expertise that we have in the retail savings market. Also the fantastic customer service that, that we offer. So we, we took the, the opportunity, we, we used the, uh, I guess the, the, the USP and the, the experience that we had and for the best part now of 20 years we've been providing fully managed uh, fully packaged white labeled services for a growing number of banks and building societies across the UK and we've, we've helped a host of challenger banks and digital banks to actually launch into the savings market. We've helped them in quite specific challenges which uh, they've faced from, from time to time and it's important to note, I would say, that uh, the technology provision is just one element of our overall mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. A company in the technology is really also all of the, the customer facing, uh, customer service that, that we provide, and also the back office support functions, which needs to operate uh, to have a, a complete end-to-end -end account servicing experience. And I mean, today, Solutions has real scale. Um, within Newcastle uh, Building Society Group. We uh, employ over 600 colleagues specifically within Solutions wow. and we, we look after more than 1.2 million savings accounts across, across the UK. Yeah, it's a fantastic story. Now, thank you for, thank you for that. Um, so I suppose um, you kind of touched upon it there. You know, what problems do you solve for your clients? You know, what um, what issues do they tend to come to you with? Um, and I guess are there any sort of interesting interesting trends or observations you'd make on the back of that? Yeah, I mean, there, there could be any number of problems that mm -hmm. our clients are trying to solve. Entering, trying to enter into the savings market for the first time is not a small challenge mm -hmm. uh, to to overcome. It's complex. It's demanding. From everything from the technology perspective through to building an operation, but also from a compliance and a regulatory perspective. And a, a key part of our proposition is utilizing our extensive experience in, in running savings businesses and using that to work with clients to, to help them launch into the market, essentially. Um, as we all know, consumer customer expectations are constantly rising, especially when you consider the digital experience agenda. And ultimately, um, being an existing savings provider, we, we find it's uh, our clients will, will say to us, it's easier to outsource their experience um, and their existing operations to us than to try and manage it themselves. Um, other problems that we, we help to solve for clients are things like launching new digi digital channels, um, trying to uh, support the, the business case for evolving those digital channels as well within, within the client organizations. Um, 
speed to market essentially is the big thing you know we've got a fully set up fully functioning fully compliant experienced operation which from the the point of engagement through to to be able to to set up it takes a lot of a lot of weight off the clients minds to be able to to work with us and rely on us to to support them to do that fantastic um Another question from, from me then. Um, so what for you are the most interesting elements of FinTech and how do you see them developing over the next few years? I suppose this is a, a bit of a, a geeky question for us to dig into. Um, I think that, that what's interesting for me in, in FinTech and, and how it's evolving is that FinTech providers don't try and be all things to all, all men. You know, they, they, they look at uh, certain opportunities and they, they'll hone in, develop, a product or a, or a service or a, a skill set that can help support a particular element of an, an entire ecosystem. That I think is, it, it's a clever way to do business. And I also think that as, as we, we work with um, several fintechs, we consider ourselves a fintech uh, as well. The partnership element of it is, is really powerful when you, you, you recognise that working together has a much greater impact than trying to do everything on your own um, you know whether it be an area of focus to to help to drive automation which will help improve the customer experience or or reduce operational costs or whether it's about providing a, a unique experience for customers to take friction out of out of their journey um, th there's lots of different angles that different fintechs come from. And for me, the exciting future is really about working together in the ecosystem. And I think that's yeah. a term that you use a lot in a lot of the, uh, the events that, that you host. And mm -hmm. that language is really important. And I, and I think that as a community, we do, we do hold true to that. Excellent. No, I'd, I'd echo that. So, so on that note as well, let's talk about the ecosystem and the community. You know, who 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 would NSS be looking to meet within the fintech north community? So, um, I I would say fintechs that are providing a specific service in the journey of managing savings account that would be an obvious answer. Um, but what I would also say is, you know, we are we're essentially a technology company as well, mm -hmm. and we are invested in the region, heavily invested in the region. We're a, we're a mutual business, so we would also be looking for opportunities to to partner with and support mm -hmm. organisations that are looking to to try different ideas, to uh, gain insights from customers and, and yeah. other technology providers and we wouldn't claim to have all of the skill sets ourselves or, or look to build everything ourselves we absolutely recognize the opportunity that partnering and um and uh, working with a you know multiple suppliers can bring so established providers that have a service that can be part of the uh, of a savings management ecosystem absolutely would be interested in speaking to them but as I say also people that are looking to um, start up you know there, there, there's uh, opportunities to, to work with us and, and as I say gain insights into into customer expectations um, and access a, a wide variety of skill sets that we have within our, our own technology practice. Absolutely. And, you know, I'd, I'd implore anybody in the community, you know, watching or listening to this interview to, to reach out to NSS because, you know, as, as the story that Manila's told us has kind of illustrated, they've got such a unique perspective, really, from both the kind of community side and also a technology side with, with that with that journey. Now, that, that's that's great, Manila. Um, you know, I just want to kind of come to the final point you mentioned there as well, um, that, you know, you've, you've invested heavily in the region, I suppose, and, and then in the north. And I know you're a big employer in the northeast. What skills have you helped develop in the Northeast? And, and I suppose, how could the FinTech North community continue that across the North and beyond? Yeah, we, we're really modernizing a lot of the, the way that we that we build and manage our own technology. It's, it's a constant evolution. We're a big employer in, in digital and tech. We've got just under 200 colleagues um, that, that work in specialist digital and tech roles as part of the, the, the 600 strong solutions business, which as a 
it, as you know, is, is part of a, the, the wider Newcastle Building Society group, so of, of which we have about 1,300 colleagues. Oh. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we, we do a lot in uh, apprenticeships and graduate uh, development programmes. We've had some real success stories with colleagues coming through the organisation and gaining a variety of skills and going on to specialist roles within the team. We're also uh, very keen to upskill and reskill colleagues that also work within the business, but perhaps uh, don't have a tech background, but would like to get into tech. Um, so that's that um, an area that we've um, been talking about recently and that we'd like to, to focus on more. I think as industry evolves and more automation comes through uh, as well, colleagues are generally more interested and keen to to move into to take take roles, um, so we would love to be able to support that. Um, although, I mean, ultimately, we are a, you know we're a we're a tech business, but we're a service provider, and we always have a need for people in a in a variety of, of different roles. So there, there's uh, a lot of different specialisms, not just tech, that that we support within the business. That's brilliant. That's that's great to know, um, Manila. That that kind of brings me to the end of my my questions. Really, um, I want to thanks for thank you for your time. And and I thought you know it was really fascinating hearing the story that NSS have. And uh, yeah, just like I said, encourage anybody in the community to reach out to NSS. And uh, and yeah, I just want to thank you for your support as well. And uh, look forward to continuing working together. Brilliant. Thank you. Good to speak to you, Joe. Likewise, Manila. Speak to you soon.